uh, could you shortly um, describe your academic background? Okay, so my name is Pierre Collet. I am uh, one of the three uh, scientific uh, experts for UFAS, uh, and my topic is more computer science and, uh, and mathematics. Uh, so um, I designed the curriculum uh, for UFAS bachelor and master's degree in, uh, in computer science. Um, and so my background is uh, long because I am old. And so after doing some uh, secondary school studies in mathematics, uh, so I went to university where I got my bachelor degree, uh, then my master's degree, and then uh, I did a PhD. Uh, and from the PhD, I did some postdocs in uh, uh, research centers. And after doing um, a couple, several postdocs, I finally managed to, to find a uh, position at uh, Calais University. And uh, then from uh, being associate professor at Calais University, I was finally uh, uh, taken as full professor at Strasbourg University. Uh, and I'm in Strasbourg University since 2007 and it is through Strasbourg University that uh, uh, along with uh, uh, Philippe Turek and Jean-Marc Planex so we were asked to create UFAS so it was a really wonderful experience because uh, in the career of a university professor creating a university from scratch is something very rare and so it's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing that to see uh, that not only uh, the creation worked well, because it wasn't in 2016, but now UFAS is, uh, I think, one of the best universities in Azerbaijan with uh, really good students that are coming out of it. Uh, last year was our first students uh, who came out uh, of uh, L3 bachelor degree. And then this year, well, two years ago, this year we uh, again had some uh, second uh, uh, batch of students who came out with students who managed to go to the very best universities in the world. Uh, typically, um, uh, so we have uh, students in the uh, University of Central London, Central London ETH Zurich. Uh, so this means that UFAS is a way for students to have access to the very best universities in the world. Um, but also now, last year we started our first year of Masters 1 degree and this year is Masters 2 degree. Right? So uh, what is nice with Masters degree is that it opens the possibility to do research and opens the possibility to, to do a PhD and next year we hope that we will have some students who will uh, continue by uh, doing PhDs and so this means that the, the big UFAS adventure is uh, still continuing, it is uh, still not finished, it is still opening new, new things, new possibilities. Uh, there is a, a UFAS research center that is uh, uh, currently being uh, created by, uh, by Philip Turek. And yeah, as I said, that was still going on, still opening many, many opportunities. What your class is about here, this yeah. week? and what new knowledge and skills uh, students are going to acquire from your class this week. Okay, so um, uh, it's, it's, I wanted to be not only uh, an operational manager of UFAS, but also to teach, because in order to have some contact with the students. And uh, I like to teach at different levels, typically. And so uh, at UFAS I'm, I'm teaching in uh, L2, uh, I'm doing uh, data, data science, advanced data, um, uh, uh, DSA2, uh, data structures and algorithms, advanced in L2. And then in uh, L3, I'm teaching artificial intelligence. And in uh, Master 2, this is why I'm here for this week. This week I'm, I'm teaching for one week in, uh, in uh, the DSAI uh, Master 2 uh, year. And uh, I'm teaching something that is more uh, advanced again. Uh, it is massively parallel artificial evolution and stochastic algorithms. So the idea uh, with this is to use a supercomputer that we have at UFAS. It is called the Parsec machine. It is a very powerful uh, machine that, is, uh, that has a computing power of 800 teraflops. It is a very, very big machine. 
Uh, this machine has been used to, um, uh, for, um, by Ulvia Abdulkarimova to complete her PhD. Uh, she was doing it with me. Uh, and um, now, thanks to this machine, we, we can do some advanced research in machine learning, uh, in artificial intelligence. And this is what we are developing right now with the students also that are doing this master's degree because now the master's degree in second year open to do some research internships. And the idea of these courses is to teach the, the students, the master's students, on how to use supercomputers in order to do uh, uh, deep learning, in order to do uh, machine learning, to use artificial intelligence, to do artificial, yeah, for, for all the new applications that are coming right now. Great. Uh, and the um, third question is about current trends and uh, career options for, for students after graduation in this field. Okay, graduation um, uh, normally means uh, master's degree. Uh, and uh, when you finish with a bachelor degree, you're still an undergraduate. Uh, but I know that uh, in Azerbaijan, uh, you graduate after a bachelor degree also. <laughs> so, uh, typically, okay, in, in the field of artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence is everywhere, computer science is everywhere too, so it is called a, uh, a transdiscipline because it's a discipline that you have uh, in banking, in uh, uh, oil, in uh, I don't know, um, uh, again, artificial intelligence, but, but you know, when you're developing new shoes, now the shoes are going to count how many steps you did every day. So we are getting into something that is called the Internet of Things, where all the objects will be interconnected. Um, and so the, the potential for uh, data science, the potential for artificial intelligence is really meant it is something that is only starting right now. Uh, so all students who will do uh, their studies into these domains are quite naturally assured to find some, some great positions in the future, whether they stop after a bachelor degree, but then of course if they stop at a, a master's degree. So typically the difference between uh, stopping at a bachelor degree and a master's degree would be the following. At a bachelor degree uh, you would be employed to develop some platforms, uh, code, some uh, software. Well, uh, if you stop at master's degree you will be more in a, uh, a, man a manager position. So, and then you would have teams uh, to manage, teams of, of students who have stopped at L3. <laughs> so that would be maybe the, the, the level above. Uh, so this is why you have to develop skills that are more, um, uh, let's say, fundamental at master's degree level, because um, the idea with L3, with a bachelor degree, is to have the technique, to know how to do things, but then uh, the topic of the courses of master's degree is know how to design things and how to apply. Uh, uh, it is less technical, but it is more uh, with more hindsight to have an idea of how to apply what has been uh, done in, at, the, at the bachelor level. So typically, uh, coming out of a master's degree, uh, you, would, you would have a job of, uh, of management job. It would, it would be more a management job if you are in the industry. Now, if you are in research, um, uh, the master's degree is the beginning of research. And so it opens the possibility to do uh, PhDs. Now at UFAS, um, we have internships. The last semester of the master's degree is one full semester of internship that can be internship either in companies, either in a research lab. And uh, we are really happy because uh, we have funding uh, to send uh, the best students to France to do some internships in France for six months. Uh, so in computer science we have th three open positions uh, to do a uh, full semester of a research internship in a, in, a French, in a French laboratory. So I think that is, that is quite nice, a good opportunity also to potentially uh, start a future PhD in the, in the coming years. And uh, finally, what are your impressions of FAST students and your wishes advice to them? Okay, uh, well, 
as always, you know, you have a big diversity. There are some UFI students who don't do, mu do much, <laughs> but there are uh, some UFI students who are really excellent. And I have found some UFI students that are re really good. Uh, typically, as I told you, I'm teaching in L2, L3 and Masters 2. So I didn't see yet uh, how the Master 1 degrees have been performing. Uh, but now I will have, I, I gave the first uh, uh, session of classes to Master 2 degree, uh, Master 2 students. And I think that the Master 2 students, some of them are really, really good. Uh, that is my impression by uh, teaching, to, teaching them uh, for a whole afternoon yesterday. And as for bachelor degree, uh, so last year uh, I was really uh, happy to have a great uh, student that I took in an internship of uh, L3, um, uh, yes, L3 internship. And uh, probably this is the result of this job. So she has come up with two results. First of all, one result in medicine, uh, which helped uh, a, uh, a medical practitioner to obtain his doctorate. In, of medicine in France and uh, secondly there was a second application on climate and this application on climate will come out to to uh, write and to hopefully uh, present some research papers in conferences international conferences uh, so that is coming out of an L3 student uh, uh, internship so this means that uh, yes, there are some very very good students at UFAS with a great potential both at bachelor level and also hopefully at, uh, at master's level. So right now, it's, we have some very top students because also the education at UFAS is very top. So this, we get students who get accepted in, in the best universities and I'm quite sure that at the end of the master's graduation, we're going to have some wonderful, wonderful students who can do uh, great things later on, be it in the industry or, or in research.